This thing is other side now for probably seven or eight minutes and it's close, so we'll work on the back now. And on the gray, you can really see how it comes up repeatedly. You rinse it off and it comes right back up. Good little steady time. Keep going over it. Bird, come here, son. Good boy, come on. Backside takes a lot, a lot of coat in there. Even when the fan tail is trimmed, you've still got a lot of coat and it takes a lot of work to get the conditioner out. But at this point, the coat is well conditioned, so there's certainly nothing tugging as you put the shower head through the coat. So that gives you confidence that you've done a good job in the actual washing and conditioning. Bird, come on, son, stand up. No, you can't turn. You have to do this, son. It gets to be a long process, so you get a little bit tired, so I constantly talk to them. I don't know he's being a good boy and that, that he's proud of them. Good oh boy, B. Yeah, we're getting there. Perfect. You can't keep doing that. Warm kiddo. Keep an eye on the temperature of your water is periodically. The water tanks do tend to go down so it gets a bit cool, it can get too cool, but in this case I think it was just getting a bit hot. So we'll bring it down a little bit more. You'll see it coming up a little bit. Right here it's coming out. This really is the most important part of the bath in my opinion. Get all of this out right down to the skin. Tiny remnants of shampoo that might have been in there. And certainly the bulk of the conditioner which you put in. And the better water pressure you have, that always helps as well. This is the basement, so it's as good a water pressure as I'll get in the house anywhere. I actually do notice a difference from when they used to be tubbed upstairs. So if you have a basement bath, or if you're setting up the specific room to groom and bath them, then the basement's probably your best bet. Stand up, B. Come on. Up again. Good boy. How are we doing now? Getting close, kiddo. We're getting close. So I think he's probably in decent shape now. I'll start over at the top and do them one more time.
getting a bit tired, he'll probably sit down, so I'll do his back end first. And I don't have to disturb him unnecessarily. He's a really good boy. He's rarely does he complain about getting itself. But I still try to keep it as stress free as possible. into this conditioner rinse. You cannot rinse too much. starting to look pretty good. I don't see any conditioner bubbles coming up. Underneath. Seems to have his chest cleaned out. Ears look good. Still a little bit on the top of his head here. Cute little bubbles coming up. And not have you, Virgie. Yeah, I know. Good boy. Yeah, excellent boy. we take him over to be dried. For that, we just gently squeeze out the hair as well as we can. And there'll be a whole lot to come out. Good boy, Verge. Good boy. I always get the best towels in the house. These are the biggest, most thirsty towels we have. Especially important here to be careful to make sure you're not rubbing against the direction of hair growth. 
cows get in contact with so much of the hair that if you came back with you would make huge mats very quickly. I mean, maybe if you get it once, I mean, if you come up once, that's not a huge issue, but you don't want to be doing it repetitively. So, we've got his neck and shoulders a bit here. Now we'll move down to his feet and legs. And even though they're probably less than 30% of his surface area, they are the most time consuming to dry. Both dabbing them down like this and with the dryers. So, Bridgie, daddy a hand, son? Okay, good boy. Give me a hand here. I'll lay it in, pulling it gently with one hand and coming down. Bird steady, son. New area of towel that's dry. And we just repeat it. And this will take out probably 85% of the water in the dog. And that's 15%. Take about two hours in the grooming room with the dryers. And particularly fussy that they are completely dried. I don't like damp dog smell. And I don't want them being damp so that when they get out they're going to pick up mud or dirt and make it muddy in them and nullify all the work that we've just done. Elbows are kind of hard to reach with towels, but if you can, that's going to save you a fair bit of time. Good boy, Verge. Good boy, eh? We'll work on the back legs. At this point, it's not worth trying to get his foot up on the edge of the tub. can't get into the belly very well but a few attempts and inside his leg big turn Bridgie Steady the dog with the backhand. You're pushing against him, sending his balance off, so he'll appreciate the help. Last thing I want is for the poor guy to fall and injure himself or spook him for the next time he has a tub. So far, we haven't had any of those kind of problems here. I generally do the legs first and then come back to the body with what's left of the towels. If I run out of dry towels, and at least the hardest part being the legs are done. Here, Bert. It's Steve Bum Bums. I just rub from the top. I don't try parting the hair at all. down off the back side and do come down the inside of the leg as much as possible. It's a stiffle or the knee. 
tends to have a lot of hair growth on it. So if we can get it in there a bit, that helps. No, Virgil, come on, son. Good boy. I know, you're tired, aren't you? Good boy, though. Boy, Verge. Come here. Can I do your chin again? Oh boy. Yeah, look at you, eh? Well, you're nice and clean. Yeah, let's see. This is a pretty blue eye. It's other eye. Good boy. No? So this is the fourth towel and it's not getting very wet now so it's certainly got the vast majority of the bulk surface water off him.